I think now it's time to put some tub springs back on. The light is unfortunately not going to be the best, but I'm doing the best I can. Let's see if I can not block the shot too much. didn't go too bad. There's number two. I want to go around and pop on some of the ones from the back side. not the easiest thing I ever did. I think while I'm here I'm going to put the hose back on on the pump. Okay, got that back on. Those are a lot easier. And then need to make sure they are in their slots too. Need to make sure this little end of the springs poking through that hole and then that's through the top hole there is where that goes and I'll just continue going around and making sure all these are good to go there we go got that in place Tilt the tub down to assist that. Don't want to put a huge amount on that spring to stretch it. And then the last one. All right, I got the last one. Looks like we're doing all right. Next up, before I get too much further, I'm going to remember to put this air tube back on so I don't have an uh, unexpected flood out. Let's put the tub ring on now. And it's got to go just like that. Make sure all the tabs are on the outside. See, like, that one is wrong. That one is right. They all need to be on the outside. Yeah, I can see how this is going to go. Kind of just have to go around and push the outer tub in ever so slightly. That one's out. 
that one's in. Of course, it's going to be the last one. And then just center them and start clipping them back down. those are clipped back into place that feels pretty good up next is going to be agitator time Put the lower portion in it seems to be seated pretty well bolt installed perfect probably can give it a spin test here in a minute and see if the problem has resolved Just snugged. Now it's time to get my fabric softener delete and put that on there. It's starting to look like a machine, a washing machine once again. To double check my work. Hose is hooked back up. That's good. Say, go just plug it in and see what happens. It's going to work or it's not. Well, you know what? Before I do that, it might be a good idea to put the belt on. What do y'all think? Let's do that. Here is the belt for this machine. It's a WP2135230. And you will know it's the right belt. I guess it would also be a Maytag number 35-3662. And it will have Heron, Maytag Heron on it for this platform. This is not a dependable care. So, of course, my OCD is going to get the best of me here, so i got to put the ladders where they're upright. And then, I'll roll it on that pulley, and then roll it around the center pulley, and we've got us a belt on there. Filling around for some cobwebs here and there. I'll knock some of those off. Well, here goes nothing. I'm going to plug it in. I've got it set to spin. Make sure that knob is in. Okay, I've got a stubby. The lid switch is engaged. Here goes nothing.
shaky. Quick update on the 2003 Maytag Performa. This is junk. It's uh, not machined properly, so the machine shakes when it spins with this in there. Fortunately, I found the original tub nut seal. These are very difficult to find. It sits on top of that. So I'm going to get, I put the, what I did, I put the old one back in for testing purposes. I took the gasket out and flipped it over. So I'm pretty sure it's making a good seal, but I just wanted to be on the safe side. And if I found one of these, I'd go ahead and get it. Found it, got it. So I'm going to put it in off camera. Here's the old, here's the new. What I've got to do next is put the center seal grease on it. Looks like it was watertight, best I can tell. But I'll put that center seal grease in there and make sure. And I've got to, it says to in the service manual to put a little thin layer of center seal grease on that as well. So I'll be doing that. Center seal grease is applied. That should be sufficient. A few moments later, that's back in. I prefer this older style seal nut because it's got these little splines around it that seem like they'd put more support on the inner tub. But I don't know, that just may be my imagination because when I had the metal one in, it seemed like the tub was a lot more unstable and shook more. So we'll give it a quick spin up, see what happens. Seems okay to me. Well, I suppose let's see what happens. I'll just put it on a small test there. We'll do mini. See if we flood out or it works. Don't see any water pouring out yet, but I think we might be good. microphone down by the machine. Everything appears to be dry down here. Get a shot of putting the front cover on. There's two tabs that stick out and two slots that correspond on the on the front cover. I didn't see anything leaking.
that's that. It'll need a cleanup, of course, but we'll let it finish up here. Here's the moment of truth. Could be that snubber ring does need to be replaced, but it'll be alright. That inner tub's got a little bit of a wobble to it. We have to work on that a little bit. Go back on some previous videos and see if that's doing that before. Maybe on this wooden floor. It seemed like the uh, tub was wobbling a little bit. So may have to uh, tweak on that a little bit. But the spin problem is fixed. It's quiet again. Sounds pretty good with that new belt. So I think we're going to call this good for now. So this has been part three of repairing the 2003 Maytag Performa. Thank you for watching.